That dangerous wildfire in central Colorado has not been contained. More fire crews are on the way this morning. Officials now say the flames have burned more than 90 homes and other buildings. Rick Salinger of our Denver affiliate KCNC is in Boulder, Colorado this morning with the latest. Rick, good morning to you. Good morning, Jeff. Fire crews are focusing primarily on protecting homes and evacuating residents. Officials say they've only just begun the task of trying to build containment lines around the massive blaze. A squadron of six firefighting tankers attacked the massive wildfire from the air Tuesday, dropping more than 100,000 gallons of fire retardant. Aviation resources today were very successful in helping firefighters gain ground. Colorado Governor Bill Ritter declared a state of emergency and toured the area by car. It was too dangerous to get out. There are going to be more folks that will be brought in, both uh, the federal and state level, all the resources we can to bear upon this fire. The fire has nearly doubled in size to more than 7,100 acres. After a preliminary survey of the burned area, authorities say they counted at least 92 structures that were destroyed, including 53 homes nine of them belonging to the very people hard at work on the fire lines. The commitment and the bravery and the dedication of the folks, while they're out saving someone else's home, their home is burning down. Some 3,000 residents who were evacuated remain out of their homes. Many are frustrated, not knowing the fate of their property. I don't know, like, is it, is it, Am I building a new house or am I cleaning my house? You know, part of you wants to just drive up and go see your house. You know, you want to go home and you can't go home. To help homeowners, authorities began posting the addresses of buildings that were destroyed on Boulder's Office of Emergency Management website. Still, officials say it will be several days before the evacuees are allowed to return home. When we have safety issues. We still have an active fire within the perimeter. We've got power lines down, we've got trees falling, we've got all kinds of hidden dangers. As to what started this fire, authorities are investigating the possibility that it began when a car crashed into a propane tank. Jeff? All right, Rick Salinger in Boulder, Colorado this morning. Rick, thank you.